decorated war hero, an elite warrior who rightly should be honored for his service and ultimate sacrifice for our country. When I think of the famous epitaph that adorns monuments for war heroes around the world that says, when you go home, tell them for us and say, for their tomorrows we gave our today. I can't help but think of Adam and many others who gave all, who gave their tomorrow, their tomorrows with friends and family so we can have our todays. What a challenge for us to make the most of our todays when we understand the price that was paid so we can enjoy today as free men and women. As fitting as it is to honor Adam as a war hero, today is about even more than that. It's about recognizing and remembering him as a true patriot, a man who not only loved his country and died for it, but a father, a son, a husband, a friend who cared about others, a man who faced obstacles in life, but by the mercy and grace of God, overcame those obstacles to become a better man and serve others. But what I like to remember about Adam is how he was fearless, not so much on the battlefield, he was fearless in the way he loved his God. He was fearless in the way he loved his family. He was fearless as a father. He was fearless as a son. He was fearless as a husband. He was not afraid to show his compassion towards people. And he also wasn't afraid to fight the enemy when he came knocking at the door. So I have so many reasons to be proud of my husband. Sorry, I'm a little emotional because this is a very special day. I'm honored that my, my kids are here to see this um, because there will be children walking in that post office one day. And it is my hope that we will continue to be able to spread the word about Adam. And, and when children come in and ask who this person was, people will get to hear his story again. And that's the story of redemption, um, one that only God can give us. And I'm so thankful so thankful for this special honor and um, I just thank this entire community, this um, community of Lake Hamilton, Hot Springs, um, the school where my kids attend, and there were a fearless community, I, I believe. You guys have embraced us so, so many ways, so many special ways. And um, Adam loved his hometown. He went on and on and on about it all the time. And, I just love that his final resting place, and so to speak, is, is here, but it's also being put up on the wall of the Adam Brown Post Office in downtown Hot Springs. So I'm just so thankful, and um, again, thank you for the honor of doing this for my husband and our family.